So if you're watching this video, um, you probably watched the one that's on YouTube that LNL Kilns did for you to test relays, but it's really terrible camera work. And so I'm just gonna try to explain some things so that it'll make a lot more sense. Okay, so you have your input power coming in here. This particular kiln is 240, so if I can find a way to um, show you the voltage while holding the camera, then I will. But since the power comes in straight in at 240, that white and black terminals down there, if you test them, the voltage, with a voltage meter, it will just tell you that it's 240, 230, 220, 208, whatever your voltage is. And then notice this mass of wires that's attached to those terminals. Those just come over here and they attach to the front, the front two terminals or the ter two terminals that are closest to me right now on every one of these relays. So there's three relays in this kiln, so that in each relay controls two elements. So, um, so I have six elements total. So we'll just start with this one. So what they're trying to show you when they're testing is the first thing they test is that you've got the same voltage going in here that you did over here. And you should, because that's just a direct connection to there. And then what they're testing is do these two wires that are on the back side, so notice that there's separate terminals here. So the two that are farthest away from you, are they getting voltage? And that's where you're actually testing the relay. You'll hear it click on and off, and you'll be holding a voltmeter to each one of those terminals that are farthest away from you. I will try to demonstrate that now. I don't, I can't find my camera uh, holder, so. So I'm just gonna turn it on to something. It doesn't matter what it's on. Okay. So now it's on. Let me try to arrange this one moment. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to touch to these front two terminals. And we get 220. It's actually not getting a good connection, but you can see 215, 212. And that's just off the straight, the, the front two terminals. It should absolutely be 220 there, okay? If you're getting something crazy, you probably don't have a good connection on those front two terminals. On the back two, so now we're going to attach to these two here on the back side. It may be a lot easier for you to test <clears throat> on, on these terminal blocks instead of trying to wind the uh, terminals for your voltmeter way down inside there. So um, in the way, I mean, because these wires that come out of here, they just go straight up into this terminal block and they're numbered like one, you can see them, one, two, three, four, five, six. And all we gotta do is test the pairs, okay? So we can just test like, uh, one and two. Let's see if I can arrange this. We're just going to test one and two right here. We should get voltage across when we do that. Okay, when the relays turn on. There we go. So a little easier to get to. And it also eliminates another point of failure, which could be the block. You could also test on this side of the block. Just to, I mean, this, these are all just metal connections. It should go right through there. Anyways, just some more testing you can do. One last thing I should point out, when you are testing these different um, sets, these different pairs, uh, the relays are clicking on in, a, in an order that is determined by the temperature that the Dynatrol is reading um, from inside the kiln in each zone. It is not consistent. So you may have to hold, like on a certain wire pair, you may have to hold the voltmeter on it for a while, you know, like up to a minute in order to get a reading across those. Don't assume that the relay is bad. The best way for you to determine that is with the paper test, to put the papers um, down inside each uh, element. You would put, you know, a, a little piece of paper in each one of the elements. Don't do it while the kiln is hot. Then you just turn on uh, like a fast glaze and the paper should smoke. Each one of those should smoke, you know, relatively within the same time frame. If you have, 
in my case, what I was having was I had three and four. These two right here, they were not burning the paper and every other zone burned paper. So I knew that I didn't have two bad elements. So the only other thing that could control two of them, as we now know, is the relay. And so, and you can actually follow these wires up. You can see like, uh, we'll just take one and two, okay? So they come off of here, one and two. They go up into one and two here and they go come across into one and two there. And then these are actually just feeding right into the kiln. And I can see that that is actually powering this first zone right here. And then three and four, and then five and six down here. So, all right, hope this video helped you. Uh, this is high voltage. Be very careful in here. Um, whenever I am going to pull a relay out or anything like that, I go back and uh, unplug from the wall back there. You do not want to leave the kiln plugged in while you're pulling wires in and out from inside the Dynatrol. Hope this video was helpful. If it has helped you, you can certainly help me by subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks.